time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank Hey. What's up everyone, happy Monday, November 6th Welcome to Power Hour Live Good day so far for Zero DTE. Looking at my remaining quiet lunch here. Closed half. Looking for the remaining to close out at 80%. I ended up taking the uh, my early version because it's set up to 10.50 a.m. A little bit wider stop but um, and smaller size, but doing well. Also had a AM ratio, hit profit target, right at that 70 minute mark, as you all know. And uh, DKS hit both profit targets. So every profit target so far hit. So don't screw it up, Power Hour. So we will be, we're with, I, uh, as, as I think a lot of you saw, I, I kind of did an update to my power hour, posted that in the trade plans channel. So I'll be doing one to one for tranche one and two, and then two to one for tranche three. Today kind of falls in that normal day. Not up too much, not down too much. Uh, I don't think there's any issues that I know of with Discord. I think it might be a Krish issue. A Krish you. That was it? Okay. I did not... Uh, I noticed I responded in the Zero DTE channel and my text was red. I thought that was odd. But other than that, I, I hadn't noticed any issues. Price pushing up off the bottom. Stayed within our expected move to the up and the downside. Getting a low premium straddle, it looks like. I posted in the trade plans this morning. A little update to my power hour. Wednesday was FOMC last week, so only two power hours in, Thursday and Friday. So I figured instead of waiting, I went ahead and did some updates. All right, so I need to buy some longs for tranche one. So if you hold here, it looks like it'll be the 60 straddle.
VIX hovering above 15. Stocks a little bit mixed. S&P and NASDAQ slightly green. Russell's down over 1.3%. Dow flat. Gold and silver slightly lower. Notes and bonds lower. 10-year yield back above 4.65. All right, 4360 straddle. Trying to get filled at 650. Filled at 650 on the 60s. 650 on the 60s. Yeah, I hear you there, Mauro. Very light on positions across the board. And at 640, 645. Let's see, so I got in at 650. So 390 is what I'm looking for to reduce my stop on tranche one. My remaining quiet lunch, I'm trying to get out at 3.30. It's currently trading at about Tight range today. Let's see. The official high of day was 4372.21. Low of day, 4347.53. Expected move to start the day was about 21 and a half, I think. Right around 21. Yeah, you know, when I was looking at the normal day for tranche three and, you know, it performs really well on the on the down day, performs really well on the up day. But then when I just siloed it out to look at the normal day, I, when I was doing one to one, I couldn't I couldn't get anything to look really solid. And so I just start, I started playing around with the ratios and ended up. And it and it kind of makes sense, you know, if if price is just kind of chopping around, not too not too up, not too down, 
you know, anecdotally, at least I, I feel like, you know, a lot of times it'll kind of push a little bit higher towards the end of the day, which, you know, whether that's, I mean, the back test shows that that is, I guess the case. So ended up, yeah, ended up going with the two to one on tranche three on a normal, normal day. You also notice I, uh, my kind of my stop risk, uh, I I'm, I'm taking, I'm getting, I'm doing larger positions or more exposure, taking a little bit more risk on up days and down days about the same. And then on normal days reduced my risk. Got a, looking at some other positions, got a TGIF. I'm hanging out in the upper end of the range. I looked at a couple different adjustment options on this one. Decided I'm just going to hold for now. Got a couple of time flies that definitely need a down move. We got the November 24 one. It's a little right of center, could use a little down action. And then the November 17 could really use some downside action. I was trying to get out. I know a couple of you guys got out of your SPX duck at, right at the close last week. I was trying to get filled at five bucks today earlier. It didn't get filled. Let me, I'm going to go ahead and put an order in again. Uh, I'd have to look, Chris. I don't have it all memorized yet, but whatever the back test says. Got a reverse hedgehog in gold. It's doing good. Got an ES hedgehog that was up pretty decent with this up move. It's kind of come back to... Still up a little bit, but not as much as it was. I did throw on a 1-2 and a 1-3 DTE double calendar. Those are both up a little bit. The 4-7 from Friday is up nicely. And the 5-7 is up a little bit. 4-7 and 5-7 will both come off tomorrow. And, well, all yeah, all four of them. The one, two, one, three, and four, seven will all, all come off in the morning tomorrow. And then the five, seven will come off near end of day tomorrow. I did uh I did take my first Dick K Apple calendar today. I have I've had it on my trade plan and a couple times I forgot to take it. And um and other times I just decided not to, but um like last week they had earnings, so I just decided to pass before I took it on my first one. Hit 80% on my quiet lunch out of that. Nice. So just uh took my first little Apple double calendar. Dick K style. Uh, 
Uh, Bumblebee, the TGIF, we put on with the eight and eleven days when we when we first got in. That's this one here, the TGIF. No, no ten, no thirteen. So that would currently be four and seven DTEs left. About 10 minutes until tranche two. Apple, I got in at, uh, let's see, 95 cents. I split it between the 80s and 177 halves. Yeah, the FOMC members, they're, they're back on the circuit. Other scheduled events this week. So there's a there's an FOMC member that spoke this morning. There's one that Kashkari speaks 5 p.m. tonight, so after the bell. Tomorrow morning, a couple before the bell. One starts speaking 15 minutes before the bell. Waller starts speaking 30 minutes after the bell. Logan at 1225 Central. On Wednesday, Cook speaking early morning, so it must be overseas. Powell starts speaking 15 minutes before the bell on Wednesday. And then a couple in the afternoon. Thursday, Powell speaks at 1 p.m. Central. And then Friday, early morning, Logan speaks again. So, yeah, they're... They are certainly making their circuit again. I'll definitely still trade tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. So he pal starts speaking right before the bell. So I don't know. I'm not sure I would I'll take a trade on Wednesday AM or not. I want to see what I'll see what the options are doing that morning. Bitcoin staying above thirty five thousand. Oil hovering around eighty one dollars barrel. Let's just have Vic stay above fifteen, please. That would be my preference. A little decay coming in tranche one so far. It's down to 530. My stop reduction doesn't happen until 390.
Looks like we could get a repeat on the 60s if price holds here. All right, let me go ahead and buy some longs for tranche two. Give it a couple minutes. Trading naked, is uh, Elliot still hanging out at your place or do you kick him out and send him back across the pond? Kicked out, good. He over overstayed his welcome. Still hanging around 61, so it looks like we might stick with the 60s. Give it another minute or two. Two minutes. Tick, 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 tick. Another minute. Make sure I got my template set up while I'm sitting here waiting. I think I do. Trying to straddle. 13, yep. PX pushing up a little bit. Looks like it might be the 65s. Going the 65s for tranche two. I get filled at four eighty five. Filled at four ninety.
on the 65 straddle. Yeah, if you're still not in, it's closer to the 60s. Price kind of popped up and then pulled back. Uh, the trade plan updates are in the trade plan channel. Uh, you can always catch the replay of any of our live streams. Um, it's posted in the live stream channel. I don't want to say it out loud because this may be posted publicly, but you can check in the live stream channel. Ooh, interesting, Ryan P. So this is the percent profit target and the percent. To hit this level of profit target. That's the percentage of trades to hit that profit target. No, that wouldn't be right. Oh, so this is all, is that all straddles you're saying? Yeah, hang on a second. I think I muted everyone, but. Hey, um, yeah, so what I was saying, oh, Chris asked me to run this and I did real fast. So what it's saying is if it's a straddle, according to Option Omega, um, the percentage of max profit, which is a which is a column that's exportable from the trade log, um, where the width equals zero. So that top, all those columns on the top, those are the strike width. So that, oh, second, column, that second column, which is zero is the straddle. And it can, sh and you see here that the most that it ever got in its back test was up to 70%. I see. A premium collected. That's it. I see. So it, okay. I gotcha. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. That's it. So Ryan, just to clarify, so the, then the percent hit. So I'm looking at the straddle column. So if I said, okay, 30% of the time it hits 30%, is that right? 30% of the time it hits 31% profit target? Oh, sorry. Was I still on mute? 
Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So what I, what I was going to say is that uh, you, you're, you're interpreting that correctly, that uh, 31% of the time we're hitting 30% profit target or more. But I think the most important thing to notice is down at that 70% level, which is that's when it hits 100%. And that tells you that there are no cases in option omega that really go beyond that. So that's kind of like your max profit potential. It is rounded to the nearest five. So, you know, it's possible that could be like 72.5, but it just goes to show it's pretty close to 70%. I got you. Of of your premium. Very nice. Appreciate that. Yeah, sure. All right, so tranche two, I got in at 490. So my stop reduction's at 295. Mike in Houston, I'm still paper trading the strategy, have trouble getting the wings to fill. Not sure why I tried to replicate what you did on tranche two. Any idea what you see here? Are you saying buying the wings? So if you're buying the strangle, you typically got to put it up to, you know, if you're buying the five cent wings, you would get filled at 10 cents. If the, if it's, if you're choosing the zero, zero five bid. So I'm not sure what, sometimes you got to be careful because it'll kind of flip between five and 10 cents. And maybe that's why you weren't getting filled. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to buy some longs for tranche three. So this will be a 12 by six. So let me just, let me just do six of them at a time as if it was one to one. So I'm, I'm going to buy the 4385 calls and the 4320 puts. I'll do six of those. And so it's, yeah, I see that just flipped to 10 cents. So I got to go to 4390. But you should be able to get filled at 10 cents on the 4390s and the 4320s. Yeah, I got filled at 10 cents. Now I, I need to buy six more puts here. Because I'm doing a two by one. Looking like the 60s again. 60s are hot today. 60, 60s coming in hot. Make sure I got my correct template set up. Tranche three, straddle 12 by six. Yep. Give it another minute. Price trading just under 4360. 
tranche one. Yeah, I need to reduce my stop on tranche one. Thanks, Lando. I'm going to get filled on um, tranche three first. So 4360s for tranche three. Wow, those premiums dropped. Filled at 535 on my two to one. All right, so tranche one got down to 390. I need to change that to 690. Stop reduced on tranche one. For tranche two, I'm looking for 295. It's currently trading at 520. Yep, let's keep that magnet on 4360 or slightly higher. Yep, Kelvin. I uh, I updated my power hour trade plan this morning. If you haven't seen it, yeah, tranche three is six plus six. All right, I'll load it up. Forty three fifty four. I don't like that bet, Anil. I don't like that number. It's not a good number. Yep, you got it, Lasoza. Uh, yeah, Tevis, I don't think you can avoid that. The only thing would be to have a separate bot set up as a straddle and then enable that one prior to power hour. And a little dip and pop back up. Tranche two's on the 65, so price is going to have to come up for that stop to get reduced.
A little over 30 minutes till the bell. All straddles today, so I'll be closing out before the bell. Just a little choppage between 60 and 65 would be fine. And the day up closer to 60. Down closer to 60, I should say. Would be ideal. Finally got my new ride today. Got delivered. The, uh, man, this dealership was, talk about the reputation of car dealers being scammy, shady. These guys lived up to it. No, no doubt about that. like fighting them every every step of the way yeah i'll have to get i'll have to grab some picks it's white straight white Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta send in the form for my personalized plates. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I did a. I found a. Uh, it's a. It's a twenty twenty one, but it only had twenty six miles on it. So I was able to get like 20, 20K off of the, what it had been brand new in 2021, but it's basically brand new. Plus the model hasn't, you know, it hasn't changed at all. It's a, uh, it's a plug-in hybrid. So the, the range on the batteries, like I don't know, 35 or 40 miles. So you just charge it the night before and then it's all battery. So like going back and forth to the office every day, won't be using any gas. So that'd be cool. Oh yeah. I, I checked all that out. I am. I'm green. I'm. I'm. It's all for the economy. Excuse me. It's all for the environment. (laughs) 
rides nice though. Rides like a rides like a cloud. I think I saw somebody post it, but on the old financial juice, the early indication market on close, 618 million buy side. Nice pushing a little below 4360. So is this a little pause before another leg up here, or is this uh is this this up move stalling out? What do you guys think? I'm not talking about for power hour, just for more looking at the daily chart. Chris always thinks we're crashing. So we're definitely going up. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I think we're, I think we're, uh, Gonna keep rocking higher into the end of the year. Little minor pullbacks. Although you technical analysts, you, we got to fill those gaps, don't we? We got two big gaps. We got to fill below. Down to 42, 41-ish. Yeah, the old time flies could use a little pullback. Getting new positions on could use a little pullback. No fill on my duck at five. Let's try 505. And filled. All right. A little over 20 minutes to go.
Tranche one down to 325. Tranche two trading at 530. Tranche three trading at 490. Second early indication, same 618 million buy side. Yes, sir, I'm two to one on tranche three. VIX creeping back down just above 15. VIX 9D got a little pop today up 9%. We get VXX all the way down to about 20 and a half. Russell, just decent little pullback today. Well, VIX is, VIX is green from Friday's close because it's Monday and they just, you know, they pump it up. If you look at VIX futures, VIX futures are down two and a half percent today. Natty gas down 7% today. Soybeans been on a little push higher. Ethereum up above nineteen hundred. SPX dipped and bouncing a little bit back up to 60. Fifteen minutes till the bell. Trying to 
around to two at 550. It's got to get down to 295 for me to reduce my stop. That's on the 65 strike, so it would need to push higher for that to happen. Tranche two stops at 790. That spread is currently trading at 660. That would be the first in danger if we push lower. Third indication for market on closing balance, 55 million sell side. So it flipped, flipped to the sell side. And the pot back up towards 4360. Kashkari speaks at 5 p.m., so hour and a half after the bell. Due to participate in an interview conducted by Fox News. Coming up on the 10 minutes till the bell. See what the final market on close and balance is going to be. Oh, 
it'll pop above 60. One point three million buy side. Started off on the buy side, flipped to the sell for the early indication, and then the final came in at one point three billion buy. Watch two trading at five fifty. Launch one trading down to 250. Tranche three trading to 320. There's a little pop up to 61. All right, calm down. Just hang out right here. 60 to 61 is good. All right, lower seven minutes. Tranche one, I'm going to put it two bucks. Launch three, I'm going to put it 250. There goes VIX heading towards 15. Tranche one getting close down to 220. 
I'm going to get out of tranche one at 230. Build at 230 on tranche one. A little push. Crunch three at it three twenty five. Tranche two, which is on the 65 strike. Out at 285. All out. All winners. All zero DTE. We're winners today, my friends. How about that? For a Monday. Start your week. So tranche one in at 650, out at 230. Tranche two in at 490, out at 285. Tranche three in at 535, out at 325. Monday fun day, S&P pushing. Could have got better prices on a... Uh, Tranche three at the 65s waiting, but I'm good with being out. Not trying to pin a straddle. All straddles, all winners. Love it. All right. So as far as the live stream tomorrow, tomorrow is the, what's tomorrow? The seventh. Tomorrow's election day, my friends. Don't forget to vote. Chad will be streaming in the morning. And we'll be back for power hour. All right, all take care. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.